desert piece right next to the highway. And we're probably about 40 miles out from Utah. We're still in Nevada. So, gonna hit the road. I think we have about 700 miles we really need to do today. Because we got, got quite a ways to go to get back and I got work here at the end of the week. So, that's what we got going. So we're driving down the road, guys, and we saw what appears to be a salt flat out here. So we're coming out to check it out. It's pretty cool, the, the map, um, the GPS just shows it and says something about a lake. But we're out here on it and it looks, looks like it's salt. That's definitely salt. And as we walk out here, it's all gooey. Oh, that's gross. See, it's like dried up, but there's like a couple inches of mud out here. Oh my. No way. Oh. This was a bad idea. Very bad. My shoes are destroyed. Yeah. Oh. So what do you think? Out there you definitely feel it get hotter. Oh yeah? Because I guess the salt, all the reflecting heat off of it, it just burns. It's, it's like snow. Right. It's very similar. So you get all the sun coming down and then it reflecting off the salt and it gets really hot. Wow. I won't go out any farther then. I'll probably just go back a bit and set up my drone and send it out some. Right, it's probably gonna My again. shoes are just destroyed. It is kind of neat though. The salt, you know, actually how thick it gets. I'm sure out there somewhere it gets much thicker than this, but it's just right. cool to see it. Dude, we should take the salt crystal home. I yeah, probably should do that. Cool. There's the uh, there's the takeoff button right over there. See right here it says take off and then you slide. So don't slide it yet, but and then recording. I need to tell it to record. Press this button and it starts recording. Okay. So this is my brother's first time flying the drone. <laughs> I'm a complete noob. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're gonna see. You know we're working on getting a uh, uh, like an up and slightly tracking shot. My other brother is going to drive the car as we leave the salt flat here. So, see what happens. See if we crash this thing. <laughs> okay, I'll hold it up. I feel like that ja laugh was off. not genuine. <laughs> okay. Got a recording? And remember, it, it does tend to sink sometimes. So you just keep your eye on it if it starts going low. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Got the drone right back there.
Oh yeah! <laughs> He's getting more comfortable with it now. It's going off to the side again. I thought thought maybe he'd follow us back straight on, but. I'm trying to trying to signal him in the camera, but he's not he's not seeing what I am trying to tell him. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> I love it. Down. Here, I'll move my hand, then I'll grab it. Okay. Okay. Now you just down on the switch a couple times. Yeah. How, How was that? That was uh, not so bad. I and mean, the control seemed a little bit more reversed. I mean, it felt like it should have been slightly different. Right. But once I started to get a feel for which side they were on, uh, it, it was. I don't know, it's pretty good. But honestly, it's for you to judge when you see the footage. <laughs> the, uh, I, I think, I'm assuming you saw my hand movements because you started following in on me. Yeah, I was, I, over I, was, there I, was I was trying to see what you were doing there, yeah. Yeah, I was like, he's. You, you came back and you turned around and you're like coming back and I'm like, oh, it looks like he's gonna track us now. Yeah, I was and gonna try and follow you when you came back in, but then I overshot. Very popping for the first time. Yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah. It was <laughs> good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just, Sweet we're having a blast head. out here, man. So, yeah, hit the road. Well, I think the battery's left. We should probably hit the road and go. So, so what are we doing here? Well, driving across the desert, we found a shoe tree um, where people hang shoes. Now, we've seen one or two of these in our life so far. Um, there was, uh, like, 15 years ago, there was an article, I think, in Country Magazine about a shoe tree. And so then we've seen one or two of them in Maine. Um, and now we're in Utah, crossing Utah, and we see a shoe tree. What do you think? This is probably the most shoes we've seen on a shoe tree, do you think? Um, well, the, the other, other ones bigger? we've seen are like more spread out. Here's a, an old All Star Converse. That's cool. Some no name, really cheap sandals. Let's see if we can't get these higher up there. Okay, what do we got here? We got um, Team, Team Skechers. Z? Skechers. Uh, got some Merrill Vibrams. Soul. Oh, what's these ones? I don't know if that's a regular bland or if that's just a Red Wings. Red Wings. Oh, that is holy. Okay, so we got like, uh, then of course people do the normal sticker bombing and uh, just carving tags into it, which so uh, this is pretty sick. You know what? I think it's time for us to leave our mark. I happen to bring an extra pair of shoes. I'm going to write my channel name on it, date it, and we're going to hang it right up here. Rock and roll. So I just found my old shoes. I'm going to tie them together and mark them. And we're looking to find the GPS coordinates for here. If we can, we'll drop them in the description on the video. And if you guys are by here, it'd be super cool to see if you find my shoes on this shoe tree. We found the coordinates. Well, I think this is the coordinates to, the, to here. I don't know. Can we see that on this at all? So we just realized too to that check. Behind this big shoe tree, there's like a little shoe tree back in here. There. It's my shoes. The bottoms are quite, um, in a whitish. So I'm going to take a big marker if it's not dried up and write the channel name right across it.
There we go. I'm gonna throw the date on here. Is it 7 17 17? Yeah, let's do this. I'm not gonna throw it very high. I'll probably put them on this lower limb here so if you guys come by and see the tree, it'll be easier to see them if they're around. Yeah, let's try again. Sweet. Oh. Dude, I think that's popping. Yep, I think that looks good. This is a pair of um, custom painted shades I made a while back. What are you gonna do, stick them inside one of the shoes or something? That's a good idea. We'll put it in the shoe. So you're carving your name? Yep. How long? Probably like 15 years since I've been this. I don't know. Wow. where I carved my name in and then I did permanent marker into it. So it's like part of the trunk of this tree. Sweet. All right. Way vintage. I think, I think this will end our time at this shoot. Stopped at a overview area here in the middle of Utah somewhere. And it's pretty epic. So we're just out here checking these rocks out for a few minutes. What'd you find? Somebody took one of those photos and lost it. <laughs> Gotta tag this to come back to. Right. This is awesome. So see, Kale's right here on this rock. See how it goes to like a thin, narrow spot down here? Right. Right on the other side there, it's at least a hundred foot drop. Oh my. Just like straight down. You can see somebody's chucked a tire off there at some point. And then look at all the etching in the stone. People have etched their names like so deep. There's another one good one over here. Let me show you. So somebody actually colored in that one. That's why I look around the corner of it. My flip flops are getting slippery. <laughs> Boy, in that corner there. Oh, because all that sand. Pissing down on it. We just got back on the road. Apparently, we were in front of a storm. So when we were out there on those rocks, they just started raining down quite steady. That's pretty 
gully back there like leading out to the main valley. You know? so, Guys, this is crazy. We were traveling through a canyon. I can't remember the name of the canyon in uh, Colorado. And it seemed like we'd been going down for miles. I mean, we're, we're going on a steady downhill incline. There's a river right next to us flowing the opposite direction that we're going. And I have no idea what's going on. It's, it's the weirdest illusion ever because I swear we're going downhill. And it's not, no, it's not just me, I mean, you guys, you, feel that we're going downhill. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? I mean, like we never get farther away. Like in the last three miles, we haven't gotten like farther away from the river, but the river's flowing that way. And we're going downhill this way. And the best we can tell is, and it's opening up and it's not nearly as apparent here, but back there in the canyon, I think it was like the shape of the narrow canyon was just like a really weird illusion. But, I mean, now you can't really tell it because it's so big and open. But back there, it was like all oh, flood, close and tight. Right. I don't know, it's the strangest thing ever. We still feel like we're going downhill. You don't, I mean, it doesn't seem as crazy now, but and that river is still going off in direction. Anyway, it's, it's, um, it's a very crazy thing to see. So we just found a parking lot to stay the night in. Anyway, we went to the highest point of our whole trip today, 11,100 feet, and it was in Colorado. Not a wonder. Anyway, getting in the vlog here, we've been driving a long time, over 700 miles today. And we got just here over 600 to go tomorrow. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, keep rolling with the random.